We join this cutscene already in progress. Activate it. Activate what exactly? We got a lot of stuff down here. Can you be more specific? Snake's camouflage is so good that people five feet away can't see him. Is that a whale or the Cloverfield monster? Whatever it is, it just got activated. Uh oh. <laughs> what? I think that's a sentiment we can all share right now. Wait, isn't this the enemy base? How did everybody get in here? On the other hand, I shouldn't expect much. These are enemies in a Metal Gear game. Huh. Could have sworn that was supposed to do something. Oh, hey! Oh, wow. Stood up too fast. Oh. What's with their helmets? Was this bike to work week? What if none of this is connected? Like, that guy just had a leg cramp and dropped the box. This guy is suffering from an asthma attack. The guy in the back there has allergies. It's all just coincidental. Hey, it's the comic relief. Entertain us, monkey. Oh ho, who is crapping their pants now, eh? Hmm, <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Did I miss it? Oh, you started without me. <laughs> You know it's a bad sign when characters start feigning injuries and illnesses just to get excused from the cutscene. After five weeks of these cutscenes, I'm really sympathizing with what these guys are going through. Yeah, that's that's about how I feel right there. Hey, Foamy. Jonathan. Commander. Commander. Would this be an inappropriate time to cop a feel? Apparently, I'm awesome. I'm just as surprised as anyone. Give back my Furby. And I say a gun can be used to hit people. How is my entire mercenary army composed of stooges? There's only supposed to be three of them. <sighs> refreshing, don't you think? Sorry, I was just drinking this refreshing can of Narcola. Ah. Excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through, make a hole, excuse me. You know, Snake, you can park in the handicapped spots now. They're a lot closer, so you can avoid all this walking. Uh, it was cool, but I'm bored with it now. Wow, Snake's got some serious slapstick comedy chops. I wonder if he went to clowning school. I love you, man, I'm so drunk right now. Oh, brown pants. I sense something. A presence I've not felt since. Oh, it's just you. Brother! Rohan! It's been too long. How are things at the frat house? Liquid. I need liquid. I'm very thirsty. Rejoice! We're not copies of our father, after all. Well, of course not. You're the arm of a clone of your father attached to a Russian guy. Free of the shackles of fate. Fate's got shackles now. Kinky. Brother. Wait, if Liquid's just an arm, what kind of brother is that? They're brothers in arms. I would hit you, but uh, that's actually pretty accurate. Watch. Your own origin? You know, if you want to pass anything, I would suggest a high fiber diet. Why does he need an ID badge? Oh, you're Liquid Ocelot. Oh, see the big cheese around here, eh? Ha! I wish I had a cake. She got legs. She knows how to use them. I told Otacon a funny joke about your name three days ago. Still got it? Aw, oh, I leave you alone for two games and you've got a drug habit. Look, I'm sorry you weren't in number two, but this isn't the answer. And three was a prequel, you wouldn't even have been born yet. Could you kick it over a little closer? I'm having some problems, okay? Snake, if you won't be a prisoner to fate... Then use this syringe as like a lockpick to the shackles of fate that... All right, I grant you the metaphor is getting a little strained. Fulfill your destiny. So if I don't want to be a prisoner of fate, I have to fulfill my destiny. Let's just pull up my Oxford English thesaurus here. Fate, synonyms, destiny. 
Any questions? Hideo Kojima, Master Wordsmith. All right, good plan. You go get help, I'll wait here. I swear I parked my helicopter around here. I can hear it. Where did... Ah... Well, let's make like what I just did to everyone's bowels and evacuate. Oh no, look, Snake fell on the ground, broke his hip or something, because he's old. Wow, I'm really running out of material. What the? How'd she get up there so fast? You must be using some of Merrill's deep hold gel. That helicopter is not even ruffling his hair. Pretty soon everyone's gonna realize the punch was non-alcoholic and they're all gonna be really embarrassed. Huh, well, that went well. Why did I do that? Wait for us! Wait, wait for us! We were supposed to be in this cutscene! And so ends Act 1, of which you saw about a third because there's an hour of stuff we didn't show you. Also, that's Act 1 of 5. So, good riddance to Metal Gear Solid, and we will see you next week with an entirely different game. Please God, let it be a different game. 